Well, welcome to the Boiling Point. Over the last several weeks with the weekly boiler tip, Jude's been talking about the McDonnell Miller. The last one actually had, had to do with some modulation. With modulation, obviously, that includes the mod motor. And I'd like to do a Boiling Point today. We go back in history a little bit uh, with Brian Grindstaff as he talks about the mod motor. Welcome to The Boiling Point. Today we're with Brian Grindstaff. I'm Richie Ware. Glad that you've joined us. Now, one of the things that uh, I do is I walk around in boiler rooms and see what products may be of interest for uh, folks out there and maybe learn a little bit. One of the things is the Honeywell mod motor that uh, seems to be the more popular thing in the boiler industry. So I thought I'd talk to Brian a little bit about the Honeywell mod motor and, and actually what it does. So Brian, why don't you take us through what the, what the mod motor actually does? Sure. Uh... Honeywell is a brand, you know, they make all sorts of different types of motors, mod motors. Um, you can use these things for almost anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Right here, we've got, uh, you know, a standard mod motor that you would, you would see in a boiler room. You may see three or four of them uh, in one boiler room with one boiler. You know, okay. they, they do anything from operate linkages uh, for, for burners and gas valves and mm -hmm. oil valves to like our setup here with our uh, mod V valve. Um, feed water valves, uh, I've seen them on gas valves. Mm -hmm. um, uh, really, you know, anything that needs to be able to actuate, um, you can use these motors on. Now, is there <clears throat> one per tip, uh, particular way that this motor works? Meaning, does it just come on and drive, or is it actually there's some programming in, in it? Or kind of tell me how they actually yeah, work. Yeah, Honeywell's a brand, they do a really good job of being able to do almost anything with them. Mm -hmm. Uh, they've got some that are just purely on off. Okay. They've got some that, that will modulate up and down mm -hmm. uh, based on a control signal that you supply to it with a, a four to 20 milliamp or a zero to 10 volt or a zero to 135 ohm in the boiler industry. You see that a lot with your low water cutoffs. Um, you know, from proportional to stop, you know, it's, you can really do uh, they've got a motor almost for every application. <clears throat> Walk me through out. how <laughs> this would work on a linkage system. Um, how would how would a mod motor work on that? Yeah, uh, so you would basically, uh, you've got a motor here, it's got a double end shaft. Basically when you power to it or it has a control signal, it will start to turn. Mm -hmm. um, usually they'll have like a crank arm on here with the linkage right. attached to it. So you would have a rod that would attach to a valve or a cam of some sort. Uh -huh. And as it starts to drive, it's moving that linkage and it's driving a cam or driving a valve open mm -hmm. or to a different position. So pretty critical in the combustion process, obviously, yep. on, a, on a burner system, if you will, right? Yep. Um, yep. And then how maybe on a uh, feed water, how, what's it actually doing on a, on, on a feed water? Yeah, so this is our Mod F valve on a DA tank. And this is a full port valve being driven by a standard uh, 4 to 20 milliamp setup mm -hmm. uh, with the Honeywell mod motor. And basically what it does is you've got a level transmitter that's sensing the level in here and providing a four to 20 milliamp signal to this valve to say, hey, we need more makeup water and it'll drive the valve open and fill the tank as, as it's needed and kind of modulate that as, it, as it's needed. Okay, um, as far as sizing, Mm -hmm. um, a, a mod motor. I mean, is it one size fits all? I mean, how does this work? There's so many different deviations of these mod motors. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you really got to look at the application, what it's turning, what it's driving, how much torque is required, uh, what's, your, what's your voltage requirement, what, mm -hmm. what, what kind of signal are you driving it off of. Um, they've got these motors from fail open to fail close, uh, so many different voltages from 24 volt to 120s, typical. Um, in industrial applications, they basically, not one motor fits all, it's, it's you really gotta figure out what the application is for the motor and make sure you select the right motor for it. And I've used pretty much standard on the Honeywell for the, um, the wear mod V, if I'm correct. Yeah, it, the, the two motors that we use on the Mod Vs are ones that you're probably going to see in any type of uh, supply house. Okay. You know, if there's, if there's a catastrophic failure, you're not tied in to trying to get a motor from across the country or long lead time motors. You can go straight to your local supply house and say, hey, you know, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. um, 
You don't have to buy it from BoilerWarehouse.com if you if you don't want to. Even though we right. got we got great pricing on that stuff. Yeah. But um, you're not going to be down waiting for a motor. Right. So we we tried to tried to make it that way on purpose. So you know we deal in an emergency business and we don't want to have to wait on things. Sure. Sure. All right. Well, appreciate uh, talking a little bit about the Honeywell. I know that you see it in the boiler room when you're walking around. Um, it, it's probably one of the more familiar things that you actually see, but mm -hmm. thought we'd just talk a little bit more, get a little more in depth with it. You can see a lot of this at our boileruniversity.com. I know that uh, Jude and Jeff go through all of that. If you have any questions, you can obviously call Brian, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Brian sharing some knowledge about the mod motor. Now that you know about the mod motor, a little bit more information. Now we are going to be creating a class that is online that's going to be about the mod motor and troubleshooting as well as setting up. So it's going to be a pretty technical class, but be watching for it. It's not out yet, but we want to just let you know that you can watch for it. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, Share those videos for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.